Alrighty guys, out here shelling corn on uh, Saturday here in October, last Saturday of the month. factor of some things. Uh, something we've had a problem with this year is such a dry June and July. Yeah, stock quality is not very good on the corn. And the yields, we've been very thankful. The yields have been better than what we thought they were going to be. And uh, so that's fine, but the uh, stock quality has uh, just been down on it. Now that the uh, sun's set and whatnot, the stalks are getting a little tougher. But about mid-afternoon, all the leaves and the top half of the plant, you can't really run too fast with the machine because it'll just start bunching up on the head and kind of cause, uh, you know, if it builds up too much, it'll just start pushing corn over before it can even get in the head. That's kind of frustrating. Combine can take it a lot faster, and that's the best time to be harvesting. But what are you going to do? Limiting factor this summer on the corn, which is that, I, mean, I call it fluff. Just all the fluff builds up on the uh, on corn head. The limiting factor this year is definitely water. It wasn't lack of fertilizer or anything. It was just uh, lack of water. And that's usually, that's really kind of what sets apart different soil types and everything else on how they produce in a given year. It's just the amount of rainfall they get. Like this field here is just lighter timber soil and it doesn't hold water as well and that doesn't look quite as good as the, you know, the fields got more black dirt and everything. And, uh, drowns out more, but if you don't, if you don't have good tile in it, but they hold water a lot better too. And Whiteford wanted a uh, stock quality video. I was going to do that today for him, but I lost. I can't find my dang camera glasses. about a week ago and I uploaded the bean video with them, the final bean video and can't figure out what happened to them after that so but I'll find them probably in one of the vehicles or somewhere at dad's house or something the decalb number went right here and it's standing a little better than the Whipple was which is on the other side of the land and I'm running a little faster with it and now we got a full bend. Go a little farther. I got a few snow flurries coming out. It's supposed to get down to 30 degrees tonight here in Illinois or East Central Illinois. Jeff sticks to me. Not real excited about it. I hate winter. I'm a summertime type of guy. Sorry about that, I stopped for the uh, full bend light and the uh, suction cup fell off the window. Uh, 
hang the horn over, dang it. like a lot came down but I bet I didn't lose half a bushel there so don't give me too hard of a time on it something else we're doing this year well, we've done it before but we'll but doing it more this year can't keep up the trucks We'll harvest the field and lands like this, just go round and round, and that way we can dump head each way, which is nice. Wherever the combine stops or gets full, we just stop there and the other way will come get you. Unless I'm pretty close to the end, then I'll drive up just so we can get the truck on the way right away again. down a little more and it's you know the stock's just kind of disintegrating when it goes through the rolls but the replant stuff it'll actually suck the entire stock down through the rolls and about half the time it'll pull the husk off the ear too and go down with it and it was definitely a better growing season for the replant had more rain and cooler weather and whatnot I'm either going to keep the thing, 
where I can sell it and hope that I might run across another skid steer, you know, that maybe needs a little work, maybe a little bigger, or just buy one the same size or something and work on it or, you know, get it fixed up but make some money in the process by selling this one. Well, the third option is I'm kind of in want to get a diesel tractor to make hay with, whether it be like a 15XX Oliver or a 16XX series, you know, something like that size, a little smaller than 1800, but I kind of want a diesel one and get one of them that has a loader on it. That's kind of a third option. So I've been looking around a little bit to see what prices on those are. But if I sell the skid steer, I ought to be able to get the Oliver tractor for the same money and not be out any money, which is what I want to do. But that's just kind of what I'm thinking on that. about all I had to talk about so thanks everyone for watching and commenting and liking and I uh, appreciate it and we'll see you on the next one